Hello, Denison community. It's Kelly Van Washenova here. You know, the ad tech who made a lot of video demos last year. Well, as we switch back to a fully in-person semester, ETS is here to help talk about ways you can leverage some of the technology tools you used in the last year moving forward in classes. We're going to be inviting faculty to a series of workshops happening in the month of August. As a lead up, we're presenting you with the word of the week, where we take some words that we talk to different faculty and administrative staff members about on campus and present you with their responses. This week, I'm presenting the word community. So go ahead and listen to what some members of the community said about the word community and stick around for the end so I can plug the workshops a little bit more. The word unity resides within the word community. Therefore, that means that we have to be together. Now, together doesn't mean that we always agree on the same things, but it does mean that we will try as much as possible to make things happen for the better of all of us. So community in this time means we've got some work to do to make things better for all of us. I think it's really a, an atmosphere of, of support and help each each other to to grow in this new world one is all together but then i also think of all the different communities and how we make the denison community one where all the different groups communities feel like it is one and hoping that we continue to move forward with that well i think it's the reliance that we can have on each other that we're there for each other with our skills and expertise to advance whatever the goals are that each of us is trying to accomplish, whether we're students, faculty, or staff. Um, you know, we all bring certain gifts and talents to the Denison community. And so sharing those is a significant part of what we do on and around campus. Um, all of the different ways we've discovered to build community across Zoom and to build community virtually by keeping people in conversation and finding ways to have um, informal chats and, and keep people getting to know each other, even when we're not in the space, same space. I also think about what we missed with having to do so much virtually and how much I'm looking forward to being back in an in-person um, community in classrooms, in departments, and on campus. Seeing people's faces again is going to be really, really nice. Um, uh, not having this disjointed classroom experience uh, is going to be really, really nice. Um, I think being able to do stuff together is going to be great. I would say community is resilient and community adapts. Uh, I think that was something that I couldn't really envision a year ago in regard to, you know, I'm speaking from a perspective, especially in the arts and especially in studio art that we found new ways to connect with students. We adapted, um, we created structural frameworks to allow community to occur um, and community happened. I was very pleased that community happened not only in our in-person mode, but also on Zoom uh, and to a great extent too. In, in a lot of my classes, I was able to bring in artists on Zoom that I wouldn't have able to bring in before. So from a printmaking perspective, I'm here in the print room, I was able to bring printmakers, you know, as far as Korea to visit my class and to engage with students. And I think students had close relations, you know, felt very intimate with them. And I think that's something I realized that Zoom can allow that kind of authentic intimacy that, again, I think that's really important for community. I think of community, the first words that come to mind are gratitude and pride, because I think about the way the Denison community um, got through the last year and how that is positioning us in just such a great place as we enter the 21-22 academic year. There's a good German word, Vertrautheit, but I can't think of the, of a familiarity, familiarity. Um, uh, oh, you know what, community? Cookies, for sure, treats. Treats for sure. Um, working together, cooperation, collaboration. Um, oh, there's just a, a thousand things I could think of for, for community. What's been interesting for me to consider for the fall of this coming year is how 
the foregrounded importance of community last year during the pandemic, how that perspective is going to shape what I do moving forward that might be different from what I would have done prior to COVID and what I might have even thought as optimal circumstances. I think now ways to build that community, ways to build community in classes and not only in a given class, but also across classes in a department um, has become like a foregrounded priority. One of the things that I have like kind of myself tried to do is to think in terms of um, what what opportunities there are now to build on things. So not necessarily just going back when we think about like the community that we had in trying to recreate what was there, but we have a whole bunch of new experiences and tools that we can use to potentially recreate it in a newer way that kind of fits the moment. And I that's one of the, I guess, opportunities that I'm sort of looking at at this point. Ah, uh, yes, community uniting, being together, and cookies. We hope you enjoyed listening to what your colleagues had to say about the word community. Next week, we'll feature the word technology and hear what people have to say about that. In the meantime, mark your calendars for the week of August 16th. That's when the ETS workshops will begin. We'll be discussing topics like digital whiteboards, how to leverage discussion boards better, and also some logistics about just classroom use if you do want to borrow a snowball mic or a camera. So tune in next week for the next word of the week and we'll see you the week of August 16th.